वेलकम टू इंपार्ट मैथ नॉलेज बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड शेयर दिस टू योर फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट डोमिनेंस प्रॉपर्टी एवरेज मेथड चेक माय प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर अ डोमिनेंस प्रॉपर्टी सिंपल मेथड द क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग गेम यूजिंग डोमिनेंस प्रॉपर्टी In this problem, we have to apply dominance property directly. The dominance property is delete the lesser row and greater column because player A maximizes minimum guaranteed gain. At the same time, player B minimizes maximum loss. So, if you add all the values, you will get some three plus two plus. Four. That is nine. The second one is three plus four plus two plus four. So the value is thirteen. Third one four plus two plus four plus zero. That is ten. If you add the fourth row, you will get some twelve. Column wise, you add. Three plus three plus four that is ten. Two plus four plus two plus four that is twelve. Four plus two plus four that is ten. Zero plus four plus zero plus eight that is twelve. In the row total, you have to select the minimum value. The minimum value is nine. You compare the first row with the Other rows. I compare the first row with the second row. Three is equal to three. Two is less than four, but four is greater than two. So no dominance. Now I compare the first row with third row. Three is less than four, and two is equal to two. It's allowed. Four is equal to four. It is allowed. Zero is equal to zero. Okay. Row one is less than row three. So row one is dominated by row three. So row one is dominated by row three. Therefore, omit row one. Row one is less than row three, so we omit row one. Now the reduced matrix is three, four, two, four, four, two, four, zero, zero, four, zero, eight. In the reduced matrix, we have to take the row total and the column total. First row total is thirteen. Second row total is ten. Third row total is twelve. Similarly, we take the column total seven, ten, six, and twelve. From the row total, minimum is ten. Now compare the third row with the other rows. Four is greater than three, so no dominance. Here four is. Greater than zero, so no dominance. So we have to go with the column reduction. So in the column, you have to select the maximum value. Here the maximum value is twelve. Compare fourth column with the first column. Four is greater than three, and zero is less than four, so no dominance. Now compare fourth column with the second column. Four is equal to four. Zero is Less than two, so no dominance. Now compare fourth column with the third column. Four is greater than two, but zero is less than four, so no dominance. Now we have to go with the next option. So the next highest value is ten. So you compare the second column with the other columns. Four is greater than three, two is less than four, so no dominance. Four is greater than two. Two is less than four, so no dominance. Now compare second column with the fourth column. Four is equal to four. 
2 is greater than 0, 4 is less than 8, so no dominance. Now we can go with the next highest value. The next highest value is 7. Now you compare the first column with the other columns. We compare first column with the second column. 3 is less than 4, so no dominance. Now we compare first column with the third column. 3 is greater than 2, 4 is equal to 4 is allowed and 0 is 0 and 0 both are equal. First column is greater than third column. So first column dominated by third column. So we omit first column. Remember that you have to delete the lesser row and greater column. Now the reduced matrix is 2, third strategy and fourth strategy for player A that is 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 0, 4, 0, 8. So this is the second strategy, third strategy and fourth strategy. In the reduced matrix you take the total that is 10. 6 and 12 and similarly column total 10 6 and 12 now we have to check it for the row reduction so the minimum value is 6 compare third row with the second row so 2 is less than 4 4 is greater than 2 so no dominance now compare third row with the fourth row that is 2 less than 4 4 is greater than 0, so no dominance. Now you go for a column wise, in the column highest value is 12. So compare the fourth column values with the other column values. 4 is equal to 4 is allowed, 0 is less than 2, so no dominance. Now compare fourth column with the third column. 4 is greater than 2, 0 is less than 4, so no dominance. Next highest value is 10. So you compare the second column value with the other columns. Now I compare the second column with the third column. 4 is greater than 2. 2 is less than 4. So no dominance. Now I compare second column value with the fourth column. 4 and 4 is equal. 2 is greater than 0. 4 is less than 8. So no dominance. In the reduced matrix, no single row or column dominates the row or column. In the reduced matrix, we take the average of second and third column that is 4 plus 2, 2 plus 4, 4 plus 0 by 2. So the value is 3 and here 3 again and this is 2. This is the average for first and the second column. Now the last column value is 4, 0, 8. Now compare the average value with the fourth column. That is 4 is greater than 3 but 0 is less than 3. So no dominance. This is the average of second and third. Now we take the average of third column value with the fourth column value. And I write this one as it is 4, 2, 4. Second column I write as it is. This is 2, 3 and 4. I take the average of third and the fourth column. That is 2 plus 4 by 2. That is 3. 6 by 2 is 3. 4 plus 0 by 2. That is 2. And 0 plus 8 by 2. That is 4. When we compare the second column value with the average of third and the fourth column, 4 is greater than 3, 2 is equal to 2 and 4 is equal to 4. So column 2 greater than or equal to average of second and fourth column. Column 2 is dominated by the average of other two columns. So omit column 2. The reduced matrix is 
टू फोर फोर जीरो एंड जीरो एट द रेड्यूस्ड मैट्रिक्स इज टू फोर फोर जीरो एंड जीरो एट नाउ वी चेक फॉर द डोमिनेंस आई कंपेयर द फर्स्ट रो विद द अदर रोज टू इज लेस देन फोर बट फोर इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो नो डोमिनेंस टू इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो नो डोमिनेंस नाउ चेक कॉलम वाइज फोर इज ग्रेटर देन टू जीरो इज लेस देन फोर सो नो डोमिनेंस इफ यू टेक द एवरेज ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड रो एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड रो दट इज टू प्लस फोर बाई टू दट इज थ्री फोर प्लस जीरो बाई टू दट इज टू नाउ द फोर्थ वन इज जीरो एंड एट नाउ यू चेक फॉर द डोमिनेंस थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो नो डोमिनेंस now you look at the next possibility now we take the average of third and the fourth one okay if you take average you will get 4 plus 0 by 2 that is 2 and 0 plus 8 by 2 that is 4 compare second row with average of third and fourth row row 2 less than or equal to average of row 3 and row 4 so row 2 is dominated by average of row 3 and row 4 so omit row 2 So the reduced matrix is four zero zero eight. Now we compare the first row with the second row. Four is greater than zero, so no dominance. Now we compare with the column. Four is greater than zero. Zero is less than eight, so no dominance is there. The reduced matrix is a two by two game. So we can find the optimum strategies and the value of the game using arithmetic method for that you have to subtract the values always you have to take the difference between highest and the lowest so 4 minus 0 is 4 you have to write across the second row similarly you take the difference between these two the value is 8 and you write across the first row similarly you take the difference between these two that is 4 minus 0 is 4 and you write across the second column You take the difference between these two, so the difference is eight. So you write across the first column. The total is twelve. Eight plus four is twelve, and here also eight plus four is twelve. Now we have to find the probability of strategy three for player A. That is given value divided by total. That is eight plus four. So the answer is two by three. Next P two is equal to given value divided by total value. P two is the probability of strategy four for player A. So the value is four divided by twelve. That is one by three. Similarly, we can find Q one. Q one is equal to given value divided by total value. That is Q one is equal to eight by twelve. So Q one is equal to two by three, and Q two is given value divided by total value. So Q two is equal to four by twelve. That is Q two is equal to one by three. Strategy four, player A. Out of four strategies, player A use. third and the fourth strategy so p1 is the possibility of using third strategy and p2 is the possibility of using fourth strategy p1 value is 2 by 3 and p2 value is 1 by 3 strategy for player b so this is b1 b2 b3 and b4 player b choose Third and the fourth strategy that is Q1 and Q2. 
Qn is the possibilities of using third strategy for player B. And Q2 is possibility of using fourth strategy for player B. Q1 value is 2 by 3 and Q2 value is 1 by 3. Value of the game is, suppose if you take column means 4 into 2 by 3 plus 0 into 1 by 3. If you take row means 4 into 2 by 3 plus 0 into 1 by 3. Multiply and add the column value with the corresponding probabilities or multiply and add the row values with the corresponding probabilities. Value of the game is 4 into 2 by 3 plus 0 into 1 by 3 that is 8 by 3. So value of the game is equal to 8 by 3. Let me repeat the step. The question is we have to apply the dominance property to find the value of the game. For applying the dominance property, we have to delete the lesser row and greater column. In some cases, the simple method is not possible. In that case, you have to use the average method to reduce the given game. After applying the average method, the given game is reduced into 2 by 2 game. And then we can go for uh, algebraic method, arithmetic method or matrix method. Whichever is convenient for you, you can go with that method. In this way, you have to find the optimum strategies for player A and player B and the value of the game using dominance property. Hope you all understand. Thank you for watching.